Sweet. Pass. Hello. I tested the flexi-arm design of the Q-Revo curve in the same way I did with the S8 Max V Ultra by applying some test dust into a corner and I found that the design of the Q-Revo curve is working much better without major design flaws. There are no big blind spots like we encountered with the S8 Max V Ultra using vac-only mode. The detailed testing video for the S8 Max V Ultra is linked in the description. The area looks okay after two vacuuming only runs using the flexium, adding mopping to the mix in the third run leaves at least a visually clean area. How well the edge mopping really performs is something for another video. There are some reasons for the better performance compared to the S8 Max V Ultra. The side brush arms make mostly good and full contact to the surface, something that was not given with the S8 due to the uplift of the side down while extracting. This uplift is no more with the Q Revo curve design. This uplift caused also side brush stalling with the S8 in some cases due to how the bristles of the side brush are hitting obstacles, this is not an issue with the Q Revo, also it looks like that the side arm extracts earlier in some cases. The last but not least reason is the edge detection of the Q-Revo that is better due to the given front sensor. The Q-Revo performs better in detecting and cleaning difficult corners compared to the S8 Max V Ultra or also the Dream X40 Ultra that comes with the same sensor setup like the S8. The front sensor of the Q-Revo is more suitable for corner detection and is usually only found with D-shaped robots, often in a more advanced setup. Sadly it looks like that the also upcoming Q-Revo Slim is equipped with the S8 Max V Ultra Flexium design, I maybe buy one and have a look. Thanks for watching, bye.